بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم مجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين رب العالمين My spotting series today is about uh, thoracic imaging I will discuss some cases of spot diagnosis in thoracic imaging Here we have patient child with ingested battery why it is battery not coin because it is you see lucent area around in the inner ring so this is ingested foreign body battery need urgent treatment here patient with right-sided aortic arch and giving the appearance of the uh, thickening of the right paratracheal stripe. Here, patient pseudo elevation of the uh, of the right hemidiaphragm, and due to right-sided subpulmonary effusion, and it is confirmed in the decubitus film. Here, patient with pericardial calcification, and the cause it is infective and it is in this case it is viral infection other causes it is tb here patient with the bronchogenic carcinoma as we see here and with golden S sign endotracheal tube and fixation in in the right side here patient with pictus carinatum and emphysematous changes noted in the retrosternal area and some flattening of the diaphragm. And here, patient with bilateral breast implants with calcification. Patient here with right sided pneumothorax, as we see here, with deep sulcus sign and endotracheal tube patient with hyaline membrane disease. Here, patient with uh, obesity in the right apex extended outside due to artifact and uh, repeated film removing the artifact hair braid from the right apex. Here, left-sided pneumothorax with the fracture rib on the severe rib and some effusion here. Here, a patient with normal, normal patient with inserted catheter in the location in the cable arterial junction as we see here in this patient. Here, patient with pectus excavatum simulating middle lobe uh, pathology. Here, patient with a right lower, col right lower col uh, lobe collapse silhouetting the diaphragm and mass lesion in the, in the, in the here compressing the right and bronchus intermedius. Here, patient with Morgagni hernia containing mesenteric fat and bowel. Here, patient with pulmonary arterial dilatation and it is due to pulmonary hypertension. Patient here with bronchiectasis and high bar inflated lung cystic bronchiectasis with the fluid with air fluid level. 
confirm with CT scan. Here, patient child patient with uh, congenital pulmonary airway malformation and the CT scan here of this patient presented with respiratory distress. Here, patient with pathology of fallow and this patient uh, with boot shape sign. Another patient with tetralogy of fellow with right-sided aortic arch with both shape sign. Patient with um, left ventricular enlargement with a small sign, as we see here. This is the left ventricular enlargement with a small sign. Here, patient with uh, uh, Epstein anomaly with box sign. Patient with lymph angiomyomatosis. And we see multiple cyst, variable size involving the costophrenic angle. Here, patient with extramedullary hematobiosis, and we see the cardiac enlargement and paraspinal masses, as we see here, and the spleen is small in size. Here, patient with uh, Monaco-Cohn syndrome, we see dilatation of the trachea and the bronchiectic changes. Here, patient with aspergilloma, as we see here, mass in the depending part, depending part of the cavity and surrounding by air, and the sign, it is monad sign. And here, patient, you see the heart, it is in the, in the middle of the chest, and this is called mesocardia. And here, patient with uh, pictus excavatum. This is the signs of pictus excavatum, nibble, breast sign, and also the horizontal posterior ribs and vertical, the anterior ribs. And this is the lateral pictus excavatum. And this is the CT, and the severity index, it is HALAR index. Here, patient with uh, dilated ascending aorta with normal dilatation of the ascending aorta and normal aortic valve. And here, some anomaly in the in the bovine arch, as we see here. This is the bovine arch with ascending aortic dilatation. Anomalous of left carotid arising from the left carotid artery, common carotid artery arising from the subclavian artery. Here, patient with thyroid enlargement, with cardiac enlargement, and some cystic changes in the lower lobes due to bronchiectasis. Here, this is the bronchiectatic changes, and here, the bronchiectatic changes on the left side. This is cystic bronchiectasis. This is a term like appearance in the right side middle lobe and this it is ring sign signet ring sign and some metry and what sign here here this is patient with cell sign normal thymus and this is wave sign this is normal thymus in in unit and this is the same patient 
another equation, sorry. If this is in your motor box on the left side. And here we have the scimitar shadow due to scimitar syndrome, back and or partial anomalous pulmonary venous return. Tension in your motor box on the right side. Patient with calcified blue plaques, and this is the holy leaf sign. Patient with left sided pneumothorax and pneumomediastinum. Blue plaques, holy leaf sign, another patient. Victus excavatum in another patient. Patient here with sarcoidosis, one, two, three sign, or bone broker sign. Patient with tension in pneumomedis in pneumoperitoneum. Here patient with congenital diaphragmatic hernia on the left side. We see dilatation of the bowel on the left side could be due to malrotation. Here, patient with immediate TB, tuberculosis, as we see here. Patient with right-sided pneumonia with bowel pneumonic effusion, bilateral pleural effusion in this patient. Here, patient with tetralogy of Fellow, boot shape, patient with pulmonary arterial hypertension, as we see here, dilatation. Here, patient with chilia TD, as we see here, interposition of the colon under the right hemidiaphragm. Here, patient with large hiatus hernia with the fluid, with air fluid level. Here, patient with left lower lobe collapse. Can you remember the two signs of left lower lobe collapse? Here, patient with cervical rib, larger on the right side than on the left side. Here, patient with cleidocranial dystostosis. The right clavicle is absent and hypoplasia of the left one. Fracture clavicles bilaterally. Bulging fissure sign, and it is common in the clavicular infection. And as we see here, moving the right upper lobe. Here, patient with the tracheal bronchus, here patient with anomalous origin of the left coronary artery from the non-coronary sinus with retroaortic course as we see here. Here anomalous origin of the right coronary artery from the left coronary sinus with short inter arterial course, and this is a malignant course. And here, this is anomalous of the circumflex artery, arises from the right coronary artery with retroaortic course. Here, patient with arterial venous malformation, as we see here, in the subpleural lung. And here, this is calcified granuloma. Here, patient with the right upper lobe collapse. No mass lesion. Here, patient with the tracheal bronchus, as we see here in this patient. Here, patient with the right upper lobe collapse, no apparent mass lesion seen. Here, patient with hyaline membrane disease, two patients with air bronchogram, diffuse symmetric 
obesities. They have patient with intact position of the colon and of the right hemidiaphragm. Chiriatidi. What about this CV line? They have patient with pulmonary embolism, saddle shape filling defect. We have patient with right-sided uh, uh, tension in hydroan pneumothorax. We have patient with right-sided lung abscess. We have patient with diagnosed with CCAM on the right side with uh, pushing of the uh, to the to the uh, crossing the midline large cyst. It is type one. Patient with uh, pneumonia in the upper lobe posterior segment. He have patient with filling defects in the pulmonary arteries due to pulmonary embolism, a tram sign. He have patient with coiled in G tube in the mid lower esophagus. He have patient with the right sided. Uh, oh, sorry, with hiatus hernia with the fluid air fluid level. He have patient with bankrupt tumor. He have patient with calcified thyroid nodule and cardiac enlargement. He have patient with dilated varices in patient liver cirrhosis with portal hypertension. He has patient with uh, uh, organizing pneumonia and this is uh, uh, at all sign or reversed halo sign. He has patient with azygous fissure and azygous vein. He have patient with multiple cyst, variable size in patient with Langerhans histocytosis. He have patient with uh, multiple cyst with Langerhans histocytosis also and some nodules. And he have patient with bridging of the left anterior descending artery. He has patient with pulmonary stenosis, as we see here, dilatation of the main pulmonary artery. And he has patient with uh, lung cancer, mass in the left main stem bronchus, collapsing of the left upper lobe. He has patient with dilatation of the ascending aorta and Noted in patient with uh, aortic stenosis and cardiac enlargement. He has patient with mass lesion and cystic mass lesion compressing the esophagus. It is duplication cyst. And he has patient with tetralogy of fallow, both shape, patient with box sign. Epstein anomaly, as we see here, box shape heart, another patient. He has patient with reverse D3 coarctation of the aorta. He has patient with the snowman sign, total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. He has patient with egg on a string sign. This is a transposition of the great vessels. He has patient with uh, enlarged azygous vein. He has patient with malignant adenopathy, as we see here in the primary cancer, in patient with small cell carcinoma 
with adenopathy and collapse left upper lobe with effusion. Here, patient to classic patient with pulmonary sling. Here, patient with aberrant subclavian artery on the right side. Here, patient with bone cactuses. As we see here, very close sign and the tram track sign of the bone cactuses. Here, patient with metastasis. The left breast is absent due to breast cancer. Here, patient with bifid drip and the sternal notch. Okay. Here, patient with uh, meliorostosis, also called Leary disease. Here, patient with pericardial cyst. As we see here, cystic mass lesion in the right cardiophrenic angle. Here, patient with subcutaneous emphysema. It is Congo leaf sign, as we see here. This is a classic patient with bronchial atresia. Here, patient with type B aortic dissection as we see here, and dilatation of the ascending aorta, and effusion, and hemomedistinum. Here, patient with thalassemia major, and we see here expansion of the ribs anteriorly. Here, patient with the classic uh, left above lobe collapse, and uh, this is the loft, loft shield sign, as we see here with tinting of the hemidiaphragm on the left side. And here, this patient with mitral valve disease with left arterial enlargement, double contour density, and mitral valve here. Here, patient with sensory lobular emphysema, as we see here, also we call dot sign. Here, patient with baroceptal emphysema here, and here, patient with band lobular emphysema. And thank you for listening. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. See you in the third lecture about the spot diagnosis in the body imaging. Thank you and see you soon.